Physics, Chapter 1. So, what is physics? Well, physics is the experimental science of matter and energy. So cool! In physics, there's a lot of measurements, so many units are involved. And here are some standard SI units right here for you. We have the meter, which measures length. We have the kilogram, which measures mass. And we have the second, which measures time. And you can shorten these up by denoting them with the M, the KG, and the S. Sometimes there's a lot of really big or really small numbers in physics. So we have scientific notation, and that's a big thing in physics because it allows big numbers that make big problems look a little less intimidating. So right here we have the 1 billion 300 million. That's a really big number. So let's shorten that up by scientific notationing the heck out of that thing to get 1.3 times 10 to the 9th. Short, easy, looks a lot less crazy. And maybe we have a super small number like the one below it, 0 0.000000 and so on to get to the one three. That's too small. So let's make that 1.3 times 10 to the negative ninth. Boom. How do we do that? Basically, look to the tens exponent. Just move that decimal point over that many number spaces. If it's positive, move it to the left. If it's negative, move it to the right. Applying scientific notation back to the units of measurement, we can add these Latin prefixes to determine the scope of the value. So we have, going up in a big direction, we have the kilo, we have the mega, we have the giga, and they go up by increments of 10 to the third, as you can see off on the very right. And you can shorten them up by with a K, a capital M, or a capital G. How do you remember that? Well, you can use this lovely acronym, KMG, which stands for kick my groin, and then going down a little bit smaller on the other side, we have the milla, the micro, and the nano, also going down by increments of 10 to the third, and we can use the lowercase m, the Greek letter mu, and the letter n. So that's the whole thing, and to shorten that up, we can remember money. Money. We like money. So hey, let's apply that. Let's go ahead and use our handy dandy chart to help us out. So. Let's apply with number one, we have our 1,000 grams. That's a big number. But hey, look at that, there's three zeros and 10 to the third is a kilo. So let's say one kilogram and whoa, it's a lot smaller, that's so cool. Oh, that's a small number there, number two. That's 0 0.000001 second. That's a small second, what the heck, that's possible? So let's make that look a little cooler by adding in that mu in front of the S. So now we have one microsecond, why? Well, it's because there, the decimal moved over six spaces to the right, and uh, now it's a, oh my goodness, it's a microsecond. So now, number three, we have seven billion, one hundred million. Um, that's a big number, so let's go ahead and turn that into 7.1 gigameters. Here are just some random things to know for your physics chapter one experience. We have the 2.4 centimeters, which equals one inch. We have 60 seconds, which equals one minute. And we have the 60 minutes, which equals one hour. Thank you for watching.